My name is Joseph Propatti, and I'm the designer of Zombie Solitaire. In this video, I'm going to show how the game plays, what components are involved in the game, <clears throat> the different types of uh, components you can use to simulate Zombie Solitaire, uh, the dice, either custom or normal dice you can use, so, and just kind of give an overall um, feel of the game and how it plays. So, what is Zombie Solitaire? Zombie Solitaire is a re-theme of the game Klondike Solitaire. Uh, everybody's played that. You know, you lay out seven uh, piles in progressively increasing cards from one to seven and then turn over a card or you can turn over three cards and you're trying to group up um, these four ace piles from ace to king. The, the rules in Klondike Solitaire, you, you can download those, you can get those anywhere. But what I've done is I've taken Klondike Solitaire and kind of put a twist to it, a zombie-themed twist. <clears throat> Where basically the cards are made up of survivors and there are safe houses and there is a character, you, that is trying to save his friends and his family that are part of his neighborhood. And Basically, it's a, a point-scoring game. You want to try and save as many people as you can, uh, all the while you're shooting and destroying zombies that are attacking the survivors. Now, there's two versions of the game. There's the PNP version that I've created, um, component-wise. So you can print out the PNP version uh, of the cards, and it's basically um, it's just a a normal deck of cards, except I've added some imagery to represent the characters in the game. Aces are the safe houses. There's four safe houses. <clears throat> then you have your eight zombie cards. And then there's you, your character. For your ammo uh, that you'll be used for your gun, you'll use four D6. Now these are, I've made these are custom dice, custom engraved, but you can use any uh, four D6. If you don't have or don't want to print out the PMP, you can always use a regular set of cards, just um, a regular deck of cards that have the jokers, because you'll use jokers to represent you the character and then with the second deck you'll need eight cards which you can use the logo side of the card to represent the zombies and if you don't have dice you could make it a completely card driven game and just use from that second deck uh, ace through six um, all four sets and that would represent your ammo your six shots of ammo uh, from the four ammo boxes you can find. <clears throat> so let, let me go and explain the rules. So with Zombie Solitaire, like I said, it plays like Klondike. So you'll, I've shuffled it up and you'll deal out your seven piles. So each of those seven piles that will increase, so one, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven cards. And then you can set your zombie cards off to the side. And your joker, which is you, right below it. And then you just place your four dice underneath. And Unlike normal solitary, there's two ways you can play that. You can play where you draw three cards or you draw one. In zombie solitaire, you're only going to be drawing one card at a time. So to set up the game, you flip over that first card on the top of each pile. So 
So before you make any moves, before you draw out of the survivor draw deck, and that's what we'll call this, again, you have for this theme, you have seven um, temporary shelters. And these are where your survivors are going to go back and forth and build up within these shelters. And what you want to do is you want to get your safe houses, your four aces down here, and then start placing your survivors in those safe houses. The more players or survivors you get in the safe house, the more points you get. And ultimately you can get a max of 52 points, one point for each card. There's also some special rules for uh, some extra points if you um, save your wife, your son, and your daughter. And those are special cards that are pointed out in the rules. If you're able to save all three of those characters, um, you get an extra 25 points. But they have to be, all three of those have to be saved, not just one or two of that group. So this is your general setup. You have your seven cards laid out. Now, to begin the game, no zombies will attack in the very beginning of the game. This gives you a chance to arrange your cards. So, obviously we have a safe house, so we put our ace out. We see if we have any cards that we can stack. Nothing that can be played. Obviously, remember in solitaire you have... <clears throat> you have to change colors as you go, so like... This would need a black jack, this would need a black six, this would need a, a, a red six, a red two, um, a black four, and then a black two. So there's nothing else we can do. We don't have any two diamonds to place on here. So, But when you place your safe house, you get an ammo box. Basically, you found an ammo box. And you want to start that off with six. That's six shots that you have. Each zombie takes one shot to destroy. So, to cover the rules, and, and I'll do that as I'm doing my playthrough, again, you only draw one card at a time from the survivor draw deck. When you draw a card, if you have a play, such as this, you don't have to play it if you don't want. You could hold off, it's not mandatory, because if you move a survivor from the draw deck to one of the temporary shelters, it will draw a zombie. A zombie basically sees that individual running across, so you just basically take that zombie and place it on top of that card. Now when there's a zombie on here, no cards from this stack can move to any other stack, and no cards from the other stacks can move onto this stack. This zombie has to be destroyed. And again, it takes one shot to destroy a zombie. So if I was going to shoot that, I would basically change this to five and then put that back in the horde deck. Now, we want to look to see what we have as options now that we know that there's a, a zombie out. Again, some of the rules on how the temporary shelters work. When there's a zombie out, nothing can move on to that stack, nothing can move from it. Now, cards can move from temporary shelter um, to other shelters and no zombies will attack. If you have a, a king, which is a grandfather, and let's say we have our open space here where this um, card is supposed to be, right, because we had that. If I can pull a king, I can move one here. That also will not draw a zombie. But if I draw a king from here and place it here, that will draw a zombie. Okay, so let's go ahead and we'll draw another card. We have a five. Now, I could destroy this zombie by a shot, move this five to here, but then that will draw another, uh, another zombie. Now, if I had a four out here, so I could do a four and a three, I would do that, but I, I think I'll wait. Let's see, we have a five. Now, something to note, if you go through this whole deck, and then once you flip it over, that also draws a zombie. So we got an eight, six, three of clubs, ah, got another safe house. So, putting a safe house out doesn't draw a zombie, 
but it does gain us more ammo. Now do I have any two clubs? No. Nope. Wow, I have three clubs though. Eight diamonds. Ah, two clubs. Now moving a survivor to a safe house never draws a zombie. Now if I could figure, since this top card, any top card, since I remove that, this is always a live card. It can always be played. If that eight got moved, then the three would be able to be played. The top sh card showing is always playable. But I don't have any play for this. All right, so we'll get nine of clubs, seven of clubs, two of spades. Yeah, I do want to put that out. Okay. Ten clubs. King. Okay. So now that I'm moving this king from the survivor draw deck, it does produce a zombie. Now one of the special things about a king, you'll see it's got a red rectangle around it. A king or grandfather has a special feature where he can sacrifice himself to destroy any zombies that are on this stack. So let's say I had Queen Jack all the way down to two and there was a zombie on there. Whenever you get a second zombie on a stack it will destroy the survivor that's on the bottom. But also those two zombies get destroyed. Now the king could sacrifice himself and destroy those two zombies before anybody gets hurt. That's one of the special features that um, that the king has. Now, again, if you have all these filled up, um, the only way that you're going to draw another zombie is when you turn over your stack. That zombie will always go to the highest card on the bottom of the stack, and again, that will produce two zombies on one card, which will destroy that card. And when a card's destroyed, like if a king sacrifices himself, he gets moved off the side, that, those points do not get added at the end of the game. So you have to be very careful which cards get removed and how low they are in the deck. Alright. So I will... I will shoot that one and then move that to here. Another rule, whenever you flip over a card from a temporary shelter, it basically makes that individual vulnerable. It kind of shows them to zombies and a zombie attacks. Alright. I've got a jack. So now, this is one of the things you want to do, you try and do your combination. So. I can place this here, it will draw a zombie, but if I kill this zombie, I can move it. So what I'll do is I'll spend a shot, destroy that zombie, I'll move this one. Now before I place the zombie, I can see if other cards move. This one will move. Um, let's see if this is, nope. So this will get a zombie and that one's going to get a zombie. Six. Now we can move that. All right. Ooh, getting lucky. Got to remember, this is going to get a zombie. So we have a zombie here, a zombie there. So we only got one spot left. So we got to be careful. Uh, let's see. Eight, four. Oh, let's move. So we'll take a shot. We're gonna destroy this zombie so we can move. Again, doesn't attract a zombie. Doesn't attract a zombie. But that will. Now am I able to move it anywhere? No. Three of diamonds. Hmm, now we're down to our almost last card. Three of hearts, four diamonds. 
Okay, so when I flip this over, now we have all the cards covered with zombies. Now, if I want to do anything, I either have to start shooting some zombies, or if another zombie comes out, it's going to start destroying cards, the highest player, which would be this 10, or sorry, this king. So, uh, we will start to go again. Let's see, do we have four? I know that there was a three clubs in here that's going to come. So we've got an eight. So what we'll do is we'll destroy that zombie. And we'll destroy uh, this zombie. And we'll move here. Before we place the zombie, we'll move this stack. Jack, so. Can I move forward? We got that zombie. So we got cards on again. Let's see here. Six. All right, three clubs. Again, doesn't attract a zombie. Eight of diamonds. No black nine. Here we go. So these are both play. So here's something interesting that I want to show. So we're going to do kind of a combination. So I'm going to take this last shot, destroy this zombie. I want to, I know that I these will be available, that eight will become available, and I want to be able to move this seven. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a shot, remove that one, we'll move that, and this. Five. King. So now it only drew one, even though I moved two cards in there, it's one stack. So it's only going to draw one zombie. And then this one draws a zombie. Alright, so we're back all the way up. So we've got to be careful. Seven. Ten. So we will take out this one and this one we'll move the 10 move that stack turn this over two hearts doesn't cause any zombies four clubs queen okay so we know that this gets a zombie and this gets a zombie Okay, fives down here. Hmm. So if we clear these, we can move and then open up. All right, so we're going to do this. We're going to clear. It's going to be three shots. This one, this one, this one. So we move, which doesn't cost anything. This doesn't cause any zombies. That, which doesn't cause zombies, but these will. So, we get five of diamonds. Oops. And jack spades. Can we do anything before we put zombies? Um, okay. Seven clubs. Hmm. Hearts. Ten spades. Six, seven, nine, ten. Is there an eight? I will wait. Eight of hearts. Four of hearts. Yeah, three of hearts. Here we go. So we got three of hearts, four of hearts, five of hearts. Cool. And eight of hearts. Where's a six? So we'll take a shot at that one. Do six of hearts. There's the seven. Uh, 
I know the five's down here, so we'll go four diamonds. Okay, so we do this, and it goes to the highest, lowest card, which is the seven out of here. Flip this, five of spades, and there's five of clubs. And six of clubs. This is going to be close. So let's do this. We will take a shot. Move. God, Queen of Spades. <clears throat> Got to start moving some of these cards over. So we will take another shot. Move this here. Flip this over. Eight of clubs. Darn, can't move it. So. Alright, so we'll flip. Six of diamonds. Could go here, but it'll draw another. Or where Y is off. Seven of clubs. Alright, so let's kill that. Got two. Eight. This one's actually going pretty good, I'm surprised. Uh, six of diamonds. But I'm running low on ammo. But that's a big luck factor if you get your your safe house is out really early so let's see seven of hearts very good eight of hearts is coming up nine of spades ten of diamonds um where's it nine eight of hearts four diamonds all right, so now we've got all of these covered. Whew, five of spades, we need to move some of these. So let's take a shot and take another shot. Move, oh, cut four of spades, queen of hearts. Okay, that was good because now here's five of spades, six of diamonds. Three, where's the two? I the two's under there. Um, all right, ten of spades, ten of spades, ten of diamonds, four of diamonds. Okay, here is another zombie. Basically, now you can, there is a, a, a function where, since you know that if you keep going through this, it will add a zombie. If you're kind of stuck, you could just simulate that you went through the deck, add a zombie. Let's say if I did that and I put a zombie on the highest card, which would be the queen, and it's your choice, it would destroy that queen. Then you can go through again. Add another thing, add another one. And that's good if you're really trying to get down to these cards where you can't get them. But you gotta remember, if I had to destroy this card and that two is under there, that's as high as I'd be able to go anyways, because I'd lost the three. So you gotta really think about your points. Um, I gotta I need to move those because I gotta get that under there. So let's go to five and we'll go to four. We'll move this here. There it is. Nine of diamonds, so good. We're looking good. Take a shot on this one. Three of diamonds. We know that the four's under here. And a jack of diamonds. Okay, now we have three precious shots left. This is going to be tough. So, start drawing. Got six of diamonds. I need to save these, so. I'll take a shot. Put that there. That no, I can I move five? Nope. Ten of spades. Nine of spades. Ten of diamonds. There it is. So we gotta take this shot. There's a five of diamonds. Six of spades. And I gotta use that last one and just see how many points I can get. 
Six of diamonds, seven of diamonds. We have seven of spades, eight of spades, eight of diamonds, nine of clubs. Ooh, this is a good one. Ten of hearts, ten of clubs, jack of clubs. We have a diamond yet. Ten of hearts. Um, we've got to we can't, so what we have to do, can we get him? No, but we can turn over a card. We got ten of spades, ten of spades, jack of spades, and shoot, oh, queen, king. Spades, but draws that. Shoot. Okay. So that is that was actually um, I'm pretty surprised. It was a um, it was a really good game. But as you can see, if you can't get your shots out, or if, sometimes you get overwhelmed, and if you can't get it down, those higher numbers of survivors won't make it. So. Um, I didn't also I didn't get the x25 points because this is the wife so but you can add up your points Eight, three, nine, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44. 44 points! Um, well, that's, that's one of my high ones. That's pretty good. So, that right there is the... Uh, <clears throat> this is my game, Zombie Solitaire. It's a tweak on Klondike Solitaire. And like I said, it's this apocalyptic zombie-themed game where you take the game of Klondike Solitaire and you twist it by trying to save your family and save your friends in your neighborhood um, that are being attacked and overwhelmed by zombies and you go out there and you take your gun and you're killing zombies and saving saving friends and family so uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, playthrough um, uh, check out the rules uh, read through and if you like the game download it hopefully soon I'll be getting some new art and I'll be able to kickstart it so keep an eye on it, and if you're interested, that might be something you look into. So thanks for watching, and I hope this was informative and explained how the game plays. Thanks a lot.